welcome back to Too Cool for Middle School. I'm trying to get a few back to school videos up for you right now, even though it's only the beginning of August. A bunch of people are already going back to school. I have to go in tomorrow, actually. That's going to be the first time that I ever get to see my classroom. Uh, as some of you know, I'm moving to a new school this year. So I'm excited to actually see my classroom. A few people have requested like classroom tour videos or like classroom setup videos. I, you know, have no idea what it's even going to look like, so I'm just excited to see it. I don't know if I'll be able to put together, like, a whole classroom setup video when it's actually applicable to you, you know, like, before school starts, but I'm usually on Snapchat when I do stuff like that, so follow me on Snapchat if you want to kind of see the process of moving everything out of my old classroom and into my new classroom and doing a new setup. So anyway, today I have a few apps for you that you could use right away on the first day of school. Um, some of these I've mentioned before and I've used a lot and then a few are some new discoveries. So I just have three quick apps for you so that you're not overwhelmed by information. I know you've got a lot coming at you right as you go back into the school year. So the first one is the Remind app. I've mentioned this one before, but I find it really, really useful. So you can just get it on your phone or maybe on your iPad if that's what you use at your school. And this app lets you communicate with your students without them actually having your phone number. So you can send them a text to their phone or to their parents' phone, but it's not coming really from your phone. It's just through the app. So I'll show you how I use it on my phone with my students. Just open up the app and it will show you the list of all the classes that you have, which is nice that you can separate them out if you do like a club that's different from class or whatever. Then you can always add a new class. And I'll just call this one new class and then they can see all the messages that you put out there, all the little reminders. I always just do show people how to join and then you've got that code that they can text to that number and you can put that information on your syllabus for the school year or you can put it on your classroom website or if you have back to school night you can write that on the board and have the students put it in their phone or the parents put it in their phone and so I think that's a pretty easy way for them to be connected to your class and then you can just you know send out little reminders that aren't email that they might necessarily check or you know on your website that they might not necessarily see. I would say this is extra useful if you do like an after school club or some kind of extracurricular activity where you don't necessarily see those students in class every single day but you want to send out a few reminders every so often like we've got basketball practice at 3.30, don't forget to bring your shoes or whatever. So for me, particularly when I've done um, like the plays and the drama club and all that, I really used Remind a lot. Another app that's a lot of fun is called Random Name Picker. You can use this all throughout the year, but you could use it on the first day um, maybe to like pick groups or like um, partner people up, you know, because you don't know your students yet or um, just to like choose students to share something about themselves or anything where you need to just choose a student to do something but um, you want it to be kind of random. So with this one, if you don't know, you know all of your students' names yet and everything and don't know everybody in your class, you could just use the numbers 1 through 30 and just assign kids a number and um, when, if their number comes up then they do whatever it is that they're supposed to do. Or you can start a new class. Um, I'll just start one that says period one and then I can just put some students in there. I just put myself, Jensen, Mariah Carey, and Tom Hanks. That would be a really fun class. So you can decide what little thing you want to come up on the screen. So you could be a little fish and like all the kids are different colored fish. So then, oh, okay, Tom Hanks is the one who has to go this time. And then you can do choose another. Then you can always go back and make them be a little bugs or whatever. And the kids get really excited about this. Like when you open the Remind app, they're like, oh, can we be the bugs today? Can we be the robots? Can we be the fish? I kind of like the popcorn one. That one's pretty funny too. It has sound effects and everything. So this is kind of a fun one. So if you can like display what's on your iPad up on a screen of some kind, that works really well. And then last year I didn't have the capabilities to do that. I just put it under like my document camera and it was still fun. Now I'll just also show you what it would look like if you've got about 30 people listed in your class, then you do have like a lot more little things going on and there's kind of like anticipation while kids are watching and trying to see who's gonna get chosen to answer the question or um, be the one that gets to pass out papers or whatever. It's funny, I always have students like ask me the name of the app and they're like, oh, I want my mom to put this on, on her phone so that, you know, we can decide like who has to 
clean the dishes that night or who has to vacuum. I thought that was so cute. So yeah, even if you're a parent, maybe put this on your phone. So if you like random name picker, but you also want like a couple more options in there, then you could get Wheel Decide, which is a really cool app that's, it's like random name picker, but like on steroids. So you've got a few more options with this one. The graphics are really cute again. So you can choose how many players, probably like 30, you know, for your class, but uh, I just did four. And again, I just did our little dream class of me and Jensen and Mariah Carey and Tom Hanks. But then what you can do is add pictures as well. So you can just um, go to your phone and either take a selfie and just upload that or use a picture you already have, or you can just use one of the really cute avatars that are already in the app. So if you teach elementary and you know you wanted to just spend a little while like taking a picture of every kid to put into this app, I think that would be really cool. For middle school, it might be a little bit harder if you've got you know seven different periods of kids, but you could assign them an avatar, or maybe if they like each had iPads, they could share a little selfie that they took of themselves or something, and then they would probably really buy in every time you use the app. So then you you know you've got your people in there, and then you can decide what it is that you want them those people to do. So if it was the first day of school, you could do something like, um, you know, if you're chosen, you have to share what is your favorite dessert or your first pet or your favorite video game or your least favorite food or something like that. And you could go around the room and have people share a little bit about themselves. But, um, you know, it was kind of a game too. You decide who gets to answer what question. So again, you'd want to have this like projected up on your screen and then you can spin the little wheel and like with this one, okay, Megan, oh, gets to do least favorite food, cheese. And then Jensen gets to do, what does he get? First pet. Uh, we don't have any pets, so I don't know what that would have been. <laughs> and Mariah Carey gets, Jensen's talking in the background, favorite dessert. I don't know what her favorite dessert is, but you get the idea. And then Tom Hanks would get the favorite video game. So another cool thing about this too is that if you want to, just for fun, you could go in and do different colors for the wheel. It's just a lot of things in the app are customizable, so you can change your colors and just maybe make your wheel like your school colors or something like that. I was thinking you could also, for the, the people section, maybe if you're like a history teacher, um, put in the names of like some of the people in your chapter, like George Washington, John Adams, or something like that, and you could put a picture of them that you find on the internet, and then maybe we have like questions about them that students would have to answer. Another option that you have is um, taking away the elimination setting. So if you want everyone to have um, an opportunity to answer the same question, he's getting, he's getting so loud over there, um, then you can take off the elimination option and then, you know, anybody might get the question about the favorite food or favorite dessert or whatever was up there. So this is another fun one that you could use on the first day of school to do little icebreakers or get to know you games, um, but then kind of get students used to it so that they use it later on throughout the school year. Maybe as like review questions or just little um, practice questions. And you can adjust all of the settings. You can customize each little section. You can have as many people as you want, as many rounds as you want, as many um, items on the wheel as you want. So. Um, I've just been kind of playing around with this because I want to use it on the first day of school. So leave a comment below of how you think you could use this app. How would you use this like mostly for icebreaker game type things or to like decide who gets to be a helper, or decide on little tasks maybe, or as a study guide or something like <laughs> that. Hold on. Jensen always almost lets me get through a whole video before. He needs my attention, huh? Yes, you do. So anyway, don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know how you would use Wheel Decide. And check out all three apps. I think they'd be really useful for your first day of school and just give you some activities to make your life a little bit easier. I'll be back this week with a few more back to school ideas, so check those out and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.